What's up squad, it's your boy Pino E here. Hope everyone's having a great Sunday. And let's start today with a look at what's dropping this week. I need this first pair, the Black Sheep Nike SB Dunk High Wolf and Sheep's Clothing is dropping on the Sneakers app on January 12th at 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Eastern, and retail set at $110. The Adidas NMD R1 Prime Knit OG, it actually dropped today on Adidas' European sites, but will also be re-releasing on January 14th for $180. As of right now, I'm only aware of a handful of locations in Europe, but this is rumored to be a global release, so stay tuned for more info this week. Jordan Bryan has a couple pairs dropping, and this Air Jordan 6 GS Hyper Pink is one of them. The release date is January 14th, the retail price is $140, and they will be available in extended sizing. And the last pair also comes from Jordan Brand. The Air Jordan 12 Low Max Orange releases Saturday, January 14th on the foot sites and the sneakers app, and retail set at $170. Over to sneaker news, and today we start with ASICS. This pair of ASICS Gel Light 3 comes in the NS silhouette, and for anyone who isn't aware, NS stands for No So. The modified construction of the Split Tongue Gel Light 3 is constructed of a fused mesh and synthetic upper in shades of tan with a speckled midsole and tonal tan outsole. Clean colorway, dope shoe, and you can find them now at overseas retailers or later this spring in North America. A few weeks ago, I showed you all the Gel Light 3 and the Gel Light 5 in a Tandoori Spice colorway, and it looks like the ASICS Gel Respector is the next silhouette to receive the Tandoori Spice treatment. This pair comes dressed in a full red suede upper with leather branding, and it sits on a full red mid and outsole. If you like these, then you can find them today at select retailers like a few. And last up from ASICS, we have the ASICS Gel Sight Python Pack. The pack features the classic silhouette in two colorways dressed in black or brown suede with snakeskin leather embossed paneling and matching tones and both sitting on white speckled midsoles. These have arrived to international ASICS retailers like Hannon, but stay tuned for North American release dates. Now let's move over to Adidas and the new Adidas and Nike Runner Boost Silhouette. This new model will be releasing on January 13th and it will initially drop featuring collegiate navy and red colorways. The shoe is constructed of neoprene and nubuck uppers with leather heel tabs matching three stripes which sits on the all too familiar white boost mid and gum bottom outsole. Aside from the initial two releases, it looks like Adidas has plans for additional colorways that will be following shortly after. Moving to Nike, we only have one piece of news for the swoosh. The Nike Air Presto Utility just released to select Nike sportswear retailers in an all new Team Red colorway. The Utility comes dressed in a weather resistant upper sporting a Team Red colorway with a matching colored cage. Finishing the look off is a white Nike swoosh, white heel midsole and black outsole. Retail price on these? $120. Now over to Jordan Brand and first up, the Jordan Jumpman Pro. Originally released back in 1997, I can remember players like Ray Allen and Kevin Garnett lacing up in these. The last retro happened back in 2008 and it looks like Jordan Brand has plans for another retro run in 2017. Let me know down in the comments below, what do you all think of Team Jordans? Just a heads up on this next one, the Air Jordan 4 Royalty will be releasing on February 4th, not the 5th like it was originally thought. But aside from that, up on screen we have the official pics of the pair in preschool sizing, so we could also confirm that the pair will drop in full family sizing on February 4th. And last up for today, we have a first look at the 2017 Air Jordan 1 High OG Royal. The shoe features a clean black leather upper with royal overlays on the toe, heel, and Nike swoosh logo. And keeping it OG, it comes with Nike Air on the tongue tag. Just by looking at these pictures, you can spot the tumbled leather on the swoosh that we saw on the 2016 Band 1s. And from what I've been told, the materials are the same on the two. So if you like the Band 1 quality, you will like these. The date isn't yet confirmed, but the RC scheduled to drop in May and the retail price is set at $160. This was a quick video but that does it for today's video everyone. If you enjoyed it and I hope you did please smash that like button. If you're new around here subscribe join the squad. If you have something to say leave it in the comments below and I'm out.